The Miracle Tree, a guide to cultivating the Moringa. Presented by Village Volunteers and the Environmental Youth Action Corps. Music by Baseku Kuyate, The River Tomb. There are 13 species of Moringa on the planet, and only two are widely cultivated as a food crop. Moringa sinopetula is native to many habitats across the Horn of Africa, and because of its nutritional value is an essential part of local diets. Moringa oleifera is native to northern India and has recently been shown to have even greater concentrations of essential nutrients. This has led to its cultivation in many places in Africa and has given it the name the Miracle Tree. In favorable conditions ranging from dry grasslands to lush forests, oleifera can fruit within six to seven months of propagation. A mature tree can produce more than 5,000 seeds per year or can be completely cut back for a yearly food crop of leaves. Malnutrition causes many serious chronic health conditions including anemia, blindness, bone loss, and others. Very high concentrations of vitamin A, vitamin C, calcium, iron, and all nine essential amino acids have been found in Moringa oleifera, especially the leaves, stems, and buds. This plant contains more than 90 different nutrients and 46 different antioxidants. Consuming even small daily portions of oleifera has been shown to prevent and fight malnutrition and may also lower blood pressure, strengthen the immune system, and act as an internal antibiotic. Moringa seed powder or paste effectively removes many kinds of bacteria from water, as well as suspended solids, fecal coliform, and metals such as cadmium, lead, cobalt, copper, and silver. It has also been shown to be as effective as alum in settling solids from turbid water. Seeds must be dried, dehusked, crushed, and added to water in the dose of 30 to 55 milligrams per liter. For best results, the water must not be too cold. The seeds must not be used after two years of harvest and the water must be allowed to completely settle after the powder or paste is added and thoroughly mixed. After settling, use only clean, clear looking water. Dispose of unsettled water and solids without touching them. Planting non-native species such as Moringa oleifera in any location away from its native lands can have serious negative effects on local plants and animals, including humans. Harvest your crop before it flowers by completely cutting it back. Only allow a controlled number of plants to seed based on your water purification or propagation need. Collect and use all produced seeds. Most importantly, be good stewards of natural habitat. Do not clear unnecessary amounts of native plants and habitat. Finally, control populations of Moringa to planned growing sites. Regularly search for and remove any Moringa oleifera plants found growing wild among native species. Ecological considerations are necessary to any horticulture project, especially when cultivating non-native plants. With careful planning and stewardship, the extraordinary benefits this tree offers can be harnessed to fight malnutrition and water impurity while maintaining the health and function of local habitats. Join the fight against malnutrition by helping us plant trees that save lives. Contact Village Volunteers at info at villagevolunteers.org to get started.